Cambridge Analytica are accused of highly tailoring targeted election materials on Facebook and other social media services. Is this a problem? 55% of you said yes, our politics are tainted by these actions. 37% said yes, I am unhappy my data is being used by such companies. 2% of you said no, I'm fine, use my data anywhere. And 5% said not bothered at all. Well, there's the, the story goes beyond just Cambridge Analytica, it turns out. And for that, we turn to one of the finest investigative reporters in the world, formerly of BBC and many other uh, venues, uh, now, uh, you know, working uh, with, uh, well, uh, with a, a bunch of different groups. The investigative journalist, author, filmmaker, his newest film, The Best Democracy Money Can Buy, gregpalast.com is the website. You can tweet him at greg underscore palast. Greg, welcome back to the program. Thank you for having me in, uh, in exile from uh, real British journalism. Yeah. Uh, glad to be with you. And, uh, you know, you may not be bothered by um, Cambridge Analytica, um, which is, was con directed by Steve Bannon and funded by the ultra-right-wing Mercer family, uh, who are the biggest donors to the Trump campaign. It may not bother you that they're shoplifting your Facebook profile, I think more disturbing. They're the, they're the maybe the least sophisticated, by the way, of all the uh, the data politics. Um, in my opinion, in, in our investigations, and we showed this in our film, it, uh, the, probably the most uh, sophisticated and dangerous is I three sixty run by um, you know no points for guessing the Koch brothers uh, that started I three sixty Themis as they call it. And while um, Cambridge Analytica uses something uh, called psychometric profiling, I360 adds what they call the dynamic dimension to it. Uh, forget your Facebook profile. They've got your credit card bills. How do you like that? Words, we, all, we all BS on our Facebook profiles, but they can say when, when you, Tom, stop buying porn and, uh, <laughs> and whether you ate Chinese food, before you voted, I'm not kidding. And they whether whether I bought a gun or ammunition, <laughs> whether whether I'm you know yeah, uh, whether I'm buying condoms. I mean, all these things that are like you would think like for example buying condoms. You know, it seems like a non you know not not a big deal. But what that indicates number one, you're male. Number two, you're sexually active. Number three, uh, you're you're willing to be cautious. Uh, number four, you're probably single. Uh, I mean, there's just all kinds of d d information that you can derive from one purchase on your credit card. Think what you can, the story that you can tell about somebody by 50 or 100 purchases or 1,000 purchases on their credit card. And one of the things I'm very, very concerned about with uh, the, the Coke operation, I-360, and then Carl Rove, if you remember the guy that Bush called Turd Blossom, otherwise known as Bush's Brain, he has another one, maybe not as uh, sophisticated as I-360, called Data Trust. Right. They've been in this game longer than Cambridge Analytica, and they do this dynamic testing. Now, here's one of the other problems you run into. They use it not only to kind of figure out, you know, the, the, the special words that will make you, you know, vote, the, you know, zombify your brain and, and make you march the poll and, and push the Trump lever. There's more to it than that. They've been caught using these systems and, and peculiarities to get you not to vote to discourage you from voting, and in some case, literally misdirecting you. Uh, the Coke, uh, spinoff of the Coke operation, I-360, uh, sent out, for example, uh, letters to uh, voters in Wisconsin that they uh, were able to get the data, for example, that you are a constant um, absentee ballot voter, and they gave uh, gun-owning uh, Democrats false information about where, where and when to send in their ballots. This Whoa. stuff is really dangerous so that people are sending their ballots late into the wrong place. Uh, we had met, and they repeated that little trick in uh, North Carolina, which is a swing state, important state. And, and obviously, uh, we know Wisconsin is, is vital. So didn't it's more and, and than just I, figuring out how to influence you, it's actually misdirecting you and um, and manipulating you. Craig, I, I remember when one of those uh, two events happened, and the the word was, uh, you know, oh, we we unintentionally printed the wrong date on those cards that we sent out. Yeah. Are are you saying that that this is actually something that's systemic and widespread and and a regular practice yeah. of these guys? Well, for example, our expert Mark Swedland, who uses these uh, these methods in, in a 
to sell you things, you know, which is how most of these mm. uh, uh, systems were developed. Sure. And, you know, benign, you know, sell you a computer, works for Amazon and other, uh, and advises other companies like eBay. And, um, you know, they're not trying to take, take away your democratic rights. But he said that the, that the uh, uh, rollout of mistakes seemed exactly to pattern a commercial rollout of a test. So they take a small group in Wisconsin, it was about 10,000 voters, they roll it out to 100,000 voters in North Carolina, and then they roll it out to millions in the southeast, as it turns out, before 2016. So it's kind of a market testing of these methods, which obviously do work because they keep expanding it. So the, the mistake, so-called, keeps happening again and again, but on a larger scale, which has the exact pattern of a deliberate commercial um, rollout of, uh, of uh, social networking and um, email blasts. You know, if they're trying to sell you something, now they're basically misdirecting your vote. This is serious stuff, and they're not, you know, and, uh, you know, and we have to also worry about the very malign and not benign use, not just convincing you. Yes, I know Cambridge Analytica says, well, we do things like find out if you eat Chinese food, you're more likely to vote against uh, uh, people who uh, support education. There's all these strange connections. But that, that's cute, but that's not the issue. Uh, we also know that computers are used... Uh, by these systems to, for example, uh, falsely identify voters as double voters. That's the uh, cross-check system. Chris Kobach is also backed by the, Co by the Cokes. Uh, we have something called caging, which happened again in 2016 in North Carolina, where you send uh, letters to soldiers and students who are away from their normal addresses for a while and then challenge their right to vote. Uh, it's, it, you know, this computer stuff is not just figuring out what you like and kind of tailoring ads to you it's far more malign and by the way i do want to note that one of my uh, british outfits that i work with channel four um, went undercover to cambridge analytica and cambridge analytica didn't just offer to influence elections by figuring out people's preferences they offered the service of entrapping candidates you don't like with hookers recording it they offered the service of spreading false news. Uh, so Steve Bannon was, was uh, in the false news business where they say that they can uh, plant false stories about candidates and leave no fingerprints of their activity. Uh, so these guys, you know, they're not just in the, you know, kind of ad business, which is how they, you know, they just kind of present themselves as sophisticated ad uh, yeah. admin. It seems it's to me, no uh, way. Greg, that this started in a big way in the 2004 election with the whole Swift Boat uh, campaign. Mm -hmm. am, am I missing? Is, is, can we track it back to that, or is this a far more recent phenomenon? E, well, even earlier, though, I have to say since 2004, according to our expert Sweden, they've gotten far more sophisticated. And remember, once they start getting into your credit card bills, and by the way, your t cable TV habits, and, mm -hmm. you know, in fact, one of the things is, in a way, Cambridge Analytica was a little less sophisticated than I360 and the others because they stole your Facebook profiles, which are not very dynamic and kind of you kind of make things up. Uh, what uh, um, the others will do legally on Facebook and on and in email blasts on a website is, for example, they'll ask you to fill out a survey. Well, you've just opened yourself now to these guys because you've 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 authorized them to get your information. Plus, right. you're giving them information which they put together from. 15 different surveys, if you figure that you've done six, they now have a pretty good, interesting profile of your inner thinking. So, um, you know, Cambridge is, uh, by stealing, they, what they did was they asked you to, you know, turn over your right to your uh, Facebook profiles, and then they would use that to worm through all your friends and pull their Facebook files. Right. Um, it's nasty. It's um, subterfuge. But if you so, think that the other guys are doing it too, but they're actually even more sophisticated, and I'd rather have them look at my Facebook profile, which is public, than my credit cards, which they, which when you sign those credit card, um, you know, uh, applications, you're giving away your, all your stuff. Yeah, yeah, and it's not just credit cards. I mean, probably most of the shrink wrap stuff, you know, most of the things that you click on. Yes, I agree to the terms and conditions. Same thing, Greg. We're 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 running out of time here, but real quickly, what? In your opinion, what are what are the best remedies for this problem? I mean, at the very least, it seems that that media companies like Facebook should be required to, to, with regard to political advertising, which we do regulate in this country, that they should be required to have the level of transparency newspapers, magazines, 
radio stations and television stations are required to have where they at least advertise who, or uh, excuse me, transparently um, assert who bought the advertisement. If we could do it, but I got to tell you, we're, you're going to have to take care of your own vote and your own brain and uh, realize when, uh, when the propaganda and uh, BS is coming at you. I think that the best, I mean, <laughs> I'm not kidding, I think the best yeah. thing I know is keep listening to this program instead of the junk being thrown at you that's manipulating you. Be very careful about things that, that touch your emotion that you didn't ask for. Yeah, yeah, there you go. And, and it won't necessarily come in the form of a political ad. It might come in the form of a little meme, you know, that just makes you think poorly of somebody or well of somebody else. Greg yeah. Pallas, the guy who knows everything. GregPallas.com is the website. You can tweet him at Greg underscore Pallas. Thanks, Greg. You're very welcome. Tom. Great talking with you. We'll be right back.